happy holiday video. This is the video I probably look most forward to every single year because it's the video where we decorate my house for Christmas. So it's all of my favorite things combined. It's Christmas, it's happiness, it's decorating, and it's a little bit of shopping. So I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna go out, find a couple Christmas decor pieces and put it all together and just be cozy and happy. What do you say? Let's get into it. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. So I did a little survey of my Christmas decor and I'm mostly good. I would love to find some sort of cool thing to wrap around the tree, whether it be like a beaded garland or I don't know, whatever that might look like. And then also a couple little trees or something. I have a couple, but I would like to get a couple more for just a couple places in our house that I feel like need some Christmassy thing. Okay, I think this is so cute. It's $3.99. It's a kitchen towel that has a homemade hot chocolate recipe on it. That's perfectly subtle. I love it. Okay, so I do want to replace our yellow pillow because yellow is very not Christmassy and this could be year round and then I could just get this little one for in front of it for just the Christmas season. They're both Magnolia Home. I think I'm gonna get it. Okay this is pretty fun and funky. It's a little pricey in my opinion. It's $15. I think that's overpriced but I'm gonna hang on to it. There's more trees over here. Ooh these little oh wait these are fun. Okay whichever one's cheaper. Let's see. They're the same price. I'm gonna get this one for a new color to add in. This is the most random but look at how sweet this little truck is. It's $10. I kind of love little like houses and little trucks during Christmas. Christmas time. I know it's so random. Okay. Uh, I didn't show you the last couple things because my hands got so full. I went and I got a hand basket because I thought I wasn't going to find that much. Joke's on me. The last couple things I found. This tree topper. I need to check the receipt. It was, it, yeah. This tree topper was $5. Isn't that awesome? I've never had a tree topper on my trees because I thought they were really expensive, but go Target. I love this one. It definitely has a Magnolia Homes vibe. And one other thing, I love the little truck. I know it's so weird. I want to smell this. I got new hand soap, winter citrus and pine liquid hand soap. It was $2.79. Oh yeah, that smells great. I wanted something that smelled a little Christmassy. We are running low on hand soap because we've been going through it really fast. So love that. I could not find any garland that I like, and I know that that's been really popular this year so I was kind of expecting it to be sold out but I got a tall little Christmas tree that I wanted to make some vignettes with. There were so many things. I wanted to get so many more. And the last couple things that I got out shopping I stopped by a Trader Joe's really late last night and I found just some kind of Christmas greenery. I have a couple ideas for this either using it to like flesh out the mantle. I was almost called it a mountain or back here to add some greenery onto this. And I got a swag. Brick didn't know what a swag was. I thought this would either be cute hanging on the mirror on our mantle or the mirror by our front door. And then those smell like Christmas, which is great. But to make up for the fake Christmas tree, I wanted to smell like Christmas tree in here. So I got this, I got two of these from Trader Joe's. These are the best because they're only a couple dollars and it's cedar balsam scented candle. I got these last year too and they smell like a real Christmas tree. They smell so good, I love them so much. So I guess step one is to take down all of our fall decor and then we can go through the Christmas decor I already have, what we bought together and start decorating. My fall decor mostly is just a ton of pumpkins everywhere. So I have these big boys. I have a couple on the mantle, a couple on the shelves, and then I have a fall pillow and a fall kitchen towel. And that's basically all that's, oh, and this arrangement that we made together. I don't think I'll be able to save that till next year. I think I have to throw it away. Okay, goodbye fall. Let's do it. It's white outside. The night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes Okay, I put a lot of the Christmas stuff on the table behind me. Excuse the shoes and such. It's a uh, very real life, but I got a couple of these storage containers from years past and I don't exactly remember what we have in terms of Christmas stuff. So I figured we could look through it together. I shoved a couple of our new things in there. Oh, that's not our new thing. That's another cute little Christmas towel. This is definitely also Target. I have a lot of these. These are called bottle brush trees, right? So I have some big ones, some small ones. We got the huge one back there. Be cute to do a little trio with a <laughs> trio. <laughs> With those, we have, oh, I love these. I think these were also tart. Oh, these might have been Ross or Marshalls actually, but these are little stocking hooks for our mantle. It's gonna be tough because we have the mirror up there this year. So we're gonna have to figure out how to make that all work. Max is trying to play with the trees. No, sir. We have a lot of these little red berries that I got in years past to make garland look a little more Christmassy. You think these are toys, huh? These are not toys. We got, this is definitely from the tar, yep, $5 Target. 
dollar section. Oh, I love the stockings we got last year from Magnolia Home. They're different, but complimentary. We have some like really cheap garland. We have a table runner, which this year we have a circular table. Last year we had a rectangular table. So I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, I love this tree. This is like a ceramic. Is that what you call this kind of tree? And then uh, I think the rest of this is just really cheap garland and lights down here. Let's set up the tree first. Cause that's gonna be the most important part. So what I'm thinking is putting the tree, this is gonna be tight. Ah. <laughs> so I'm thinking about putting the tree right here where our rubber tree is moving the rubber tree Maybe to where the monstera is and moving the monstera maybe to our little credenza It's gonna be hard I always feel like it's really hard to figure out what to do with your real plants once it comes time for Christmas Because you have all the little like Christmas tree and greenery everywhere and then real plants don't really feel very Christmassy But I'll show you the Christmas tree we got it's from Amazon. It's a six-foot tree. It's flock Honestly, it was just the cheapest. It's a it's a fake tree, but it just came in the mail so we can unbox Box it and set it up together. We have a very hyper dog today. So, <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Whoa, this is heavy. Oh, this must be the top. See how just the ends are flocked and then there's little pine cones. I thought that that was pretty because it adds a little bit of like the light, bright white without being completely white. So there's a still a little bit of Christmassy greenage. And 30, 45 minutes later. Here's our tree. I really think it's really pretty. It's gonna be interesting to see if it fits. So I'm gonna move some things out of the way and shimmy that there and we're gonna decorate it later, but just to get it in its spot so we know where everything's gonna go. Biggest things first, that's what I always say. My mind. I'm all for a good start. Okay, so it's a little tight. <laughs> but I think it's the best we can do because this layout doesn't really have any other options. I mean, there's that side of the TV, but that's even smaller and it would impede on the table. And then there's where the trash can is, but that's too small too. So I think that that's the only spot. To the right of the fireplace would block the doorway too much. We're gonna go with it. Next is the mantle. I wanna hang the stockings, see how they fit around the mirror. And then I'd love to sprinkle in a couple of the little bottle brush trees throughout the garland if there's some left over after we do everything else. So we'll come back to that after we decorate the rest of the house. Well, let's add the stockings. Okay, now I move the rubber tree to over here and this is where the couple pumpkins used to be. And I wanna do the three Christmas trees here with the really tall one, I think, in the corner. Maybe I'll move this rubber tree over a bit and then two, three. Let's see how that looks. I don't know, it might be too much Christmas tree near Christmas tree, but the Christmas decorations I really love are Christmas tree and reindeer. So it's gonna be a lot of them around the house. Here's our tall one. And then one of the medium green ones. Here's the question. Do I wanna do one, two, and then three is the candle? or one, two, three, and then have a candle just next to it. I actually kind of like one, two, and then three as the candle. I think that looks more sophisticated. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I do think I wanna use the greenery back here to the best of my ability. There's not a ton of it, but there's enough. And we can kind of flush it out maybe with some of the fake garland and some of the berries, but I wanted to do a little arrangement with, I love this little truck. I think this little truck is just the cutest thing ever. And then the vase that we had the fall foliage in, I actually think that this could double as a really pretty candle holder. Once this is lit, it could look like a really pretty festive candle. And it's a way to repurpose this because we don't really have storage space for it anyways and there's not really like a wintry book i mean there is wintry bouquets but not that i would really do so let's try to make something out of this and see if we need some of our fake garland to flush it out and see if this monstera looks odd amongst christmas things or not i'm gonna start by laying down some fake garland at the base and trying to like kind of fluff it out and then we can disguise it okay it doesn't look terrible but we're gonna make it look better for sure by adding some of this in here there's just one of these big ones interesting sprinkled throughout it definitely looks way more real. Now I just gotta arrange it and I think I'm gonna add some of the little berries to it for a little bit of distraction and holiday cheer. I actually might clip off one of these and add it down there. Yeah, that looks more balanced for sure. I remember I got these last year from Target for a couple of bucks to try to make my cheap garland look a little more elaborate and this is going to do the trick yet again, making it look like it has a little more going on. I'm trying to kind of place them in the direction that the greens are going. So this is how it's looking without anything in it yet. It is looking very full and real. It's nice to kind of have a couple real things cover all the fake stuff. So this side, I will have the candle back here, maybe kind of nestled in here. And the cute little check. I think it's so cute. So I do think I want to try to hang this the swag above this mirror right here. So there's like a little bit of Christmas something. As soon as you walk in, please ignore the box. That was what the Christmas tree came in. <laughs> so I just actually put a tiny little nail in the wall right above it. 
So let's hang this and see what we think. I think it's pretty. I just kind of fluff the bow. One benefit to that is since it's real greenery, it brings a little bit of like natural Christmas tree smell as soon as you walk in. So that is a perk. Okay, we have Christmas towels and then a couple little tree arrangements I want to do around everywhere because we have so many trees. We can't forget our pillows. Okay, so this one I thought was actually a great year-round pillow, but since it's light and white, what we had here was that like mustardy yellow. Not very Christmassy and I actually like this better for year-round and all I do is pop this little merry one in front of it. Boom, they both look like Christmas pillows. So I thought I would just do a one-two over here to keep it simple. I think that looks really good. Very clean. Oh, also, do you see something back here? This is a uh, tiny little pom-pom tree that my friend sent me. I think that this is also from Target this year, and I just think it's really cute. So I just put it in front of these little jars when I was filming a video the other day. So I was filming a Christmas video right here, and I wanted a little hint of Christmas in the background. Okay, I have a couple of very small, practical uh, kitchen decorations. I haven't seen the towel that we got together in its glory yet, in its entirety. So I'm excited to see it. Oh, this is so cute. It's an actual hot chocolate recipe. Milk, heavy cream, unsweetened cocoa powder, granulated sugar, vanilla extract, a dash of salt, toppings, and directions. And I think that this would look really pretty hanging next to this little Christmas tree towel. Also, uh, wow, is this just a Target ad on accident? This is our year round soap. So I'm just gonna move this under our sink and replace it with this soap, which is the winter citrus and pine that we found from Target for a couple dollars. <laughs> I love the smell of pine. I'm trying to get all the real Christmas tree smells in here this year. For the little tray that we have on our dining table, it just has salt and pepper and the cutest little coasters that someone made for me and sent to my P.O. box that's customized with their names. I thought it would be fun just to do a couple little Christmas trees and I love having things contained in one larger item because then you can have multiple little knickknacks but it looks like one piece so in my mind it looks more intentional and less cluttered because little things can get hard they can look like clutter really quickly but if you contain it all inside of a little tray so much less cluttered oh it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> one more opportunity for a couple more Christmas trees. We have this on our coffee table right now, which is a stack of a couple cookbooks with this orb on top, which I do love this orb, but I thought it would be fun to stack two more little Christmas trees on top of these books because yet again, the books anchor it and make these feel more intentional. Oh, I can't wait to do a little finished montage. I think what's left is to decorate the tree, which I'm gonna see if Brooke wants to get in on that with me. Maybe we can listen to some Christmas music. So we'll do that montage style. And then the final reveal. So are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon I love you all so much, thank you for watching this I'm filming this on Thanksgiving right now And I kinda wish I did this sooner Because now my house feels so happy Looking around at all the little Christmas trees And everything everywhere Oh, my heart I love you all so much I hope you have the best rest of your day And now can I officially say it? Merry Christmas! Bye! Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories
Christmas memories.